I want to give you another example of why it's so much better to uh, learn your Spanish from a human being. Think about ser and estar. I mean, if you're learning Spanish, I'm sure you've run into Spanish has two ways to say I am, right? Yo soy James, soy ingeniero. That is, I am James, I am an engineer. That's a permanent thing. Someplace along the line, somebody told you that ser is for permanent and estar is for temporary. Estoy en Arizona. I'm in Arizona, but tomorrow I might not be. So I'm using estar, not ser. Okay, but we constantly run into examples where we question, is that a permanent thing? Should I use ser or is that a temporary thing? Should I use estar? For example, to be married, all right? If I say soy casado, because I think I'm married, that's forever, right? Well, if I'm practicing with a native Spanish speaker, they might correct me and say, Estás casado. You are married because tomorrow you might not be. All right. So we have these questions about is that permanent or not permanent? We question is it ser or estar? A human being can give us the answer right away, eliminate all that doubt, and then we can go on and go forward uh, and, and master ser and estar. Okay. I hope that helps. Ciao for now. Mm -hmm.